Animal Tissues The bodies of animals are made up of different kind of tissues. Animal tissues are of four types. Epithelial tissue, muscular tissue, nervous tissue and connective tissue. Epithelial tissue is of four types. Squamous, that is thin and flattened cells. Cuboidal, that is cube-like cells. Ciliated, that is cells bear cilia at their outer ends. And columnar, which have long column-like cells. Muscular tissues are of three types. Voluntary muscles, that is striated. Cardiac muscles, which are related to heart. Involuntary muscles, that are non-striated. Connective tissues are of three types. Connective tissue proper, skeletal tissue and fluid connective tissue. Epithelial tissue This tissue forms a continuous sheet of cells that covers the external surface of the body like skin as well as lines the cavities of internal organs like mouth, for example cheek cells, stomach, intestine and windpipe. Structure In epithelial tissue, the cells are present end to end without intercellular spaces. The cells may be flat, irregularly shaped, cuboidal or in the shape of columns. Functions It provides protection and prevents the entry of germs. It prevents the underlying cells from injury, entry of germs and from drying up, that is, desiccation. On the basis of the shape of the cells, epithelial tissue is classified into the following four types. Squamous epithelium, which consists of single layer of large flat cells with central nuclei, placed on a thin basement membrane. These cells can be compared to the tiles on the floor. The membranes lining the blood vessels and the inner lining of cheek are examples. Cuboidal epithelium is composed of a single layer of cuboidal cells placed on a basement membrane. The salivary glands and the thyroid glands are internally lined by this epithelium. Columnar epithelium is composed of tall cylindrical cells, the height of each cell being greater than its width. The nuclei are oval and are usually found at the base of the cells. Inner lining of the intestines is an example. Ciliated epithelium Epithelial cells sometimes bear hair-like cilia on their free surface. For example, the windpipe or trachea is internally lined by ciliated epithelial cells. Connective tissue Connective tissue is the most abundant tissue and it forms 30% of the total body part. This tissue connects one group of tissues to another in our body. This tissue serves the purpose of connecting different parts of the body. It is also called the joining tissue. It joins various organs of the body. Depending upon the structure and functions performed by the connective tissue, it is further classified into three types. Connective tissue proper, skeletal tissue and fluid or vascular tissue.
connective tissue proper it is most abundant type of connective tissue it holds the various tissues together in any organ it is further divided into following types areolar tissue this is the basic and most widely distributed connective tissue in animal body location it forms a continuous layer under the skin fills up the spaces between various organs and acts as a packing material around the organs functions it provides mechanical support and movement to the various organs and tissues adipose tissue it is a connective tissue which is specialized to store fat fat is stored inside the cells called adipocytes location adipose tissue is found beneath the skin and between the internal organs functions it is a storage tissue where fat is kept in reserve for use when required it forms shock absorbing cushions around important organs adipose tissue present beneath the skin helps to shape the body surface it forms the insulating layer below the skin tendon it is a small cord like dense fibrous connective tissue of great strength but limited flexibility tendon contains parallel bundles of white fibrous tissue it joins muscle to bone it helps in moving the bone on contraction and relaxation of the muscle ligament it is a cord like dense fibrous connective tissue of considerable strength and high elasticity ligament contains yellow fibrous connective tissue it binds a bone with another bone it allows bending and rotation movements over a joint differences between ligaments and tendons ligaments ligaments connect two bones together this tissue is very elastic with considerable strength it is formed of yellow fibrous connective tissue tendon tendons connect bones to muscles this tissue has great strength but limited flexibility it is formed of white fibrous connective tissue skeletal tissue it is hard connective tissue that forms supporting framework of the body they form endoskeleton in vertebrates it is of two types cartilage and bone cartilage it is a specialized connective tissue which is compact firm but still flexible it consists of a ground substance called matrix which contains cartilage cells and fluid filled space called lacuna location it occurs in the rings of windpipe and at the end of the fore and hind limbs so that the friction between the bones is reduced it is also present in the balls of respiratory passages such as nose tips ear pinna epiglottis and lower ends of ribs functions it gives support and provides elasticity to the soft tissues
it facilitates bone movements as it is a shock absorbing tissue bone it is the hardest connective tissue that forms the skeleton of vertebrates it is made of matrix and cells the matrix is filled with various inorganic salts like calcium phosphate calcium carbonate magnesium phosphate and calcium fluoride these make the bone strong and hard the matrix is present in the form of concentric layers around a central canal bone cells are present in minute spaces called lacunae the long bones are usually hollow containing a cavity called marrow cavity it is full of bone marrow which is richly supplied with blood vessels red blood cells and white blood cells are formed in the bone marrow location bone is a hard and compact tissue and forms the rigid endoskeleton of the body functions bones form the framework that protect the internal organs like brain heart and lungs it serves as a reservoir of calcium phosphorus and proteins it helps in the body movement as it forms a system of levers differences between bone and cartilage bone the matrix is hard and formed of protein that is osseine calcium and magnesium phosphate Matrix is arranged in rings called lamellae and haversian canals. Bones are inflexible and porous. Blood vessels are present in bones. Cartilage. The matrix of cartilage is solid but elastic and formed of protein that is chondrin but generally contains no salt. Matrix not arranged in rings and has no canals cartilage is flexible and non porous blood vessels are absent in cartilage vascular tissue it is the fluid connective tissue keeps on moving in the body it helps in the transportation of various materials such as gases food excretory products hormones etc it has a ground substance called plasma in place of matrix which is a straw colored fluid it is of two types blood and lymph blood as you know blood is a red colored sticky alkaline slightly saltish in taste This fluid connective tissue is heavier than water. It is made up of the plasma and three types of cells that is RBCs, WBCs, blood platelets or thrombocytes. Functions. The major function of blood is to transport substances from one part to another inside the body. This includes nutrients metabolic waste hormones and gases it maintains the temperature of the body platelets promote coagulation of blood and help in wound healing white blood cells also provide immunity by producing antibodies lymph it is a colorless or yellow colored fluid It is blood plasma without RBCs and proteins. It plays a very important role in protecting the body against infections. Functions: 
lymph is an important tissue for nutrients and hormones. It acts as a middleman between tissues and blood. It brings carbon dioxide and waste from tissues to blood and nutrients, oxygen, hormones from blood to tissues. Differences between blood and lymph Blood Blood is red in color. Red blood cells are present which possesses hemoglobin and provide red color to it. Large protein molecules are present. Blood flows in blood vessels that is arteries, veins and capillaries. Lymph Lymph is straw-colored or colorless fluid. Red blood cells are absent. Large protein molecules are absent. Lymph flows in lymph vessels and between tissues. Muscular tissue It is contractile tissue which possesses Contractile proteins inside cells held together by connective tissue. It consists of long cylindrical cells called muscle cells or muscle fibers. It occupies nearly 40% of the total weight of the body. It is found in every part of the body where movement is involved. It forms the muscles of the body. It can contract and relax. Functions Muscle tissue is a contractile tissue. It causes the movement of the body and its various parts such as arms and legs by contraction and relaxation. Classification Muscle cells can be divided into three types based on their structure, function and location. These are of three types striated, smooth and cardiac. Striated muscle These muscles join the bones to each other and are therefore called skeletal muscles. They are long, cylindrical and non-tapering. The muscle fibers do not branch and run parallel to one another longitudinally. Each fiber is multinucleated and possesses alternate dark and light bands giving them striated appearance. Therefore, these are called striated muscles. Location These muscles are present in body parts which we can move at our conscious will. These parts include limbs, face, neck, tongue and diaphragm. Functions Skeletal muscles have a large number of contractile proteins, enabling them to contract and expand rapidly. They are attached to the bones and help in the movements of all parts of the body. Smooth Muscle They are spindle-shaped, unbranched muscle cells which are called smooth muscle fibers because they do not contain striations. These fibers are uninucleated with a single centrally located nucleus. Location The smooth muscles are found in visceral organs. For example, walls of stomach, esophagus, intestine, urinary bladder, blood vessels, iris of eye and bronchi etc. 
functions smooth muscles are involuntary muscles as they cannot contract or expand at our will smooth muscles present in the wall of gastrointestinal tract help in peristaltic movement these movements and the progressive movements which push the food downward in a wave like manner cardiac muscle they are involuntary striated and non fatigued muscle fibers which occur in the wall of the heart performing rhythmic contraction and relaxation continuously they are composed of cylindrical non tapering fibers but shorter than skeletal muscle fibers location these muscles are found exclusively in the heart functions cardiac muscles are involuntary muscles like smooth muscles and undergo rhythmic contraction and relaxation they contract relax and work continuously without any rest contraction and relaxation of cardiac muscle cause pumping activity of heart comparison of three types of muscles striated that is voluntary or skeletal muscle unstriated that is involuntary smooth muscle cardiac muscle shape striped striated long and cylindrical non tapering and unbranched unstriped unstriated spindle shaped that is long with pointed ends cylindrical and branched action helps in the movement as they are attached to the skeleton controls movement of substances along tubes helps in pumping the blood that is heartbeat nucleus multi nucleate uni nucleate multi nucleate location attached to the skeleton tubular organs gut reproductive system glands bronchiole present in the heart control voluntary that is under individual's will involuntary that is not under individual's control involuntary myogenic that is self generating nervous tissue nervous tissue is a highly specialized tissue which consists of basic units called neuron or nerve cells that transmit messages in our body structure a neuron is made up of three parts cyton dendrites axon cyton or cell body which contains a central nucleus the dendrons are short processes arising from the cyton and further branching into dendrites axon is a single long cylindrical fiber that extends from the cyton nervous tissue is highly specialized for reception and discharge of stimuli and transmission the dendrites receive the impulses and axon takes impulses away from the cell body location the neurons are concentrated in the brain and spinal cord function the neurons are specialized for receiving impulses they receive impulse get stimulated and rapidly transmit the impulse from one part of the body to the other
It exerts control over all body activities. It coordinates the functioning of different body parts. Differences between axon and dendrite. Axon. It is long, uniformly thickened, fiber-like process of a neuron. It carries impulses away from the cell body. Dendrite. It is a short tapering process of a neuron. It carries impulses towards the cell body. Things to remember. All living organisms are made up of cells. Group of cells which are similar in structure and functions constitute tissues. Plant tissues are of two types, meristematic and permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue is present at the root or shoot tip, that is apical, and between the xylem and phloem, that is lateral meristem. Permanent plant tissue may be simple, that is parenchyma, sclerenchyma and cholenchyma, or complex, that is xylem or phloem. Xylem conducts water and minerals from the root to the leaves and is composed of vessels, tracheids, fibers and xylem parenchyma. Phloem transports food material from the leaves to different parts of the plant and is composed of sieve tubes, phloem fibers, companion cells and Phloem parenchyma. Phloem and xylem together form the vascular bundles. Animal tissues are of four types. Epithelial, muscular, nervous and connective tissue. Epithelial tissue forms the lining of various organs of the body and protects them. It is of four types. Squamous, columnar, cuboidal, and ciliated. Muscular tissue is responsible for the movement and is present in every part of the body. It is of three types, striated, smooth and cardiac muscle tissue. Brain, spinal cord and nerves are all composed of nervous tissue. The cells of nervous tissue are called neuron. These cells are highly specialized to conduct impulses, that is, signals. Connective tissue consists of cells of different kinds. They connect one group of tissues to another. Bone, cartilage, ligament, tendon and blood are the examples of connective tissue.